Hello everyone, this is Greg with OM Gadgets, back again with another video. And I'm really excited about this one today. I'm going to do a speed and RAM management comparison between the Nexus 6P and the Nexus from two years ago, the Nexus 5. Let's take a look. Can a phone that's two years older keep up with something that's current? The specs on paper would tell you that probably that's not the case. But let's do an in-depth examination. What we're going to do is we're going to launch some apps, we're going to test their load times, and then we're going to switch between these apps and see how the RAM management is working on both of these devices. So let's take a look. Okay, we will start this comparison with powering on both devices, and we'll do that in three, two, one. Okay, and while we're waiting for the devices to boot up, we're just going to run through the specs real quick. We have the Nexus 6P on the left-hand side, released September 2015. It has a 5.7-inch AMOLED 2K display, running latest version of Android 6.0.1, Snapdragon 810, which has 8 cores with an Adreno 430, and 3 gigs of RAM. The Nexus 5, on the other hand, on the other hand came out two years earlier. It has a 5-inch IPS 1080p display, same version of Android, Snapdragon 800, which is a quad-core, Adreno 330 and 2 gigs of RAM. And it looks like the Nexus 5 has booted up first, which is very odd considering that Nexus 6P is, uh, has a faster processor. Okay, so let's unlock uh, the Nexus 6P. Mine is uh, fingerprint protected, but it requires the pattern on your first boot. And before we get into this, I want to mention that I did restore the Nexus 5 by using the NFC method. So we are essentially running two phones here with the same exact applications and same exact Android version. Th these two devices are as close to each other as they can possibly get. And I'm just going to show you that, in fact, we are running the same version and with the latest security patch. So we should have everything up to date on both devices. Also, we are on the same Wi-Fi networks here, uh, so we can begin doing the test. We are going to dismiss the settings application, and we're going to see that there are no background apps running right now. So let's start with Facebook, and you can see that the Nexus 6P loaded just a bit faster. We're going to go back to the home screen and load YouTube. Okay, and that loaded a bit faster on the Nexus 6P. What we'll do now is search for a video. We're going to have it play the same exact video, which we will go to OM Gadgets to load a video from there. Okay, and we'll start that at the same time. And sorry, I forgot to turn the sound off on the Nexus 5, but it looks like the video loaded at the exact same time on both devices. We're going to pause it here. We'll come back to it when we're doing the RAM management test. Let's go to Chrome. Okay, that's pretty much neck and neck. Let's try to go to a website. And I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to go to foxnews.com. On both devices, we'll see which one loads first. And let's start that at the same time. I started a little bit faster on the Nexus 6P, but okay, Nexus 6P is done. And Nexus 5 is still loading or it's refusing to load? Hmm. It's not loading any of the images on the Nexus 5 for some reason. That's weird. Let's try it again. Okay, looks like it's doing the same thing. Uh, I guess the Nexus 5 does not like Republicans. And that's okay. 
We'll try to go to a different website. We will go to CNN, to be fair. And we will see how that page loads on both devices. Okay, Okay. so that page loaded on both devices and the Nexus 6P is a clear winner there. Let's move on. We will open the XDA Premium app. Let's see, so far just a hair faster on the Nexus 6P. Oh wow, it looks like the Nexus 5 actually loaded it faster. Nexus 6P started faster, but Nexus 5 finished faster. We'll load a uh, thread, <clears throat> and Nexus 6P finished ever so slightly faster there. We'll open Google Play Music, and we will pick the same song on both devices. We'll come back to this one when we are doing the RAM management test as well. Okay, you won't hear this music because the sound is off, but it looks like they turned from play button to pause button on the Nexus 6P first. Okay, let's move on to Google Maps. And the map loaded, it's just, uh, my last search was Dallas, Texas, so it'll just be there. Let's open Twitter. And that loaded just a bit faster on the Nexus 6P. Going back to the home screen. Let's load our first game, Temple Run 2. Okay, we are at the loading screen first on the Nexus 6P. Nexus 5 took a little bit longer to do or to get to that page. Nexus 6P looks like it's ready to go. Nexus 5 is still loading. And yeah, the Nexus 6P is a clear winner here. No surprise. Okay, let's go back to the home screen. And we will load another game. This is Dead Trigger 2. Okay, Nexus 6P is ready to go. Oh, I forgot to load this initially on the Nexus 5, so it's playing the intro movie, but it, that shouldn't affect the performance. Uh, so, but either way, Nexus 6P is the clear winner here. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so let's start doing the RAM management test, and we will go back to Facebook and see if anything has to reload. And nope, that is exactly where we left it. Going to the next app that we had opened. This is YouTube, and the video is still there in the exact place where we left it on both devices. Let's go to our Chrome browser. And it is still on CNN, still exactly where we left both devices. And let's go now to the XDA app, right where we left it on both devices. Going to Google Play Music, still the same song, nothing has appeared to reload it on either device. Go to Google Maps. Okay, it took a little bit longer on the Nexus 5 to reload, but it didn't refresh anything. Let's go to Twitter. No reload here. Let's go to Temple Run. 
And you know what, let's go ahead and try playing the game here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the home screen and leave it in the state where we have it on both devices. We're going to go to dead trigger right where we left that. And let's go back to Temple Run and see if it's where we left that. And it is. Okay, guys, so there we have it. The Nexus 6P did win. But the Nexus 5 did a lot better than I had expected, considering that it's a two-year-old phone at this point. Now, the Nexus 6P does have better processor, more RAM, and a more capable graphics chip, but the Nexus 5 really didn't get destroyed like I expected it to in this test. Now, the Nexus 6P is a better device. It has better build quality, a much nicer camera, and uh, speakers that the Nexus 5 just can't compete with. They're front-facing and very loud, but if you're looking for a budget option for a smartphone right now, I hope this video can help you understand that the Nexus 5, even though it's two years old, really can compete with the heavy hitters of today in terms of performance. This is Greg with OM Gadgets. I really hope you enjoyed this video and have been surprised by it as much as I have been. If you have enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more videos like this, please feel free to subscribe to OM Gadgets. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.